Hey guys, long time no talk. So today I have my October favorites and October was a very fun month. It was Halloween and yeah, it was just super fun to see all the fall lookbooks as well as Halloween tutorials and stuff like that. I'm sorry I couldn't make none. I'm having technical difficulties still with computer issues, but sooner or later that will stop. So yeah, so first let's start off with makeup because that's my favorite thing ever. And the first thing that I have is this New York color quad in Lexington Luxury and the colors are beautiful. Let me show you. So these are how the colors look. So it just has this like nice mauve color, a nice white champagne color, a nice black color to do a smoky eye and like a light, light mauve color. And I love this quad because I can do like a neutral eye with just a white all over my lid and like a a mauve color for my crease or I can use the white color all over my, my lid and the black color on my crease to do a nice smoky eye so this is really you guys really can't beat that and the, as for the actual pigmentation I like it the formula is really creamy and blendable so I've been loving this palette this month for eyes I've been loving the Scandal Eyes Waterproof Co Rimmel London Eyeliner and this is in the color black 001 black and it looks like this I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of it and this came in a set with the mascara and I really love this eyeliner. This is probably one of the best eyeliners I've ever had and it's so like easy. It just glides on. I don't have to like put effort in it. So I've been really been loving this eyeliner. Next I've been loving the Rimmel London Scandal Eyes Mascara and this is my all-time favorite mascara. If you guys don't really like big voluminous false looking lashes and you guys won't probably like this but if you guys was if you guys do like those big like voluminous lashes and it looks like you put in a lot of effort and like nothing near natural then this is your mascara it's really inexpensive and let me show you guys the wand it's really big and chunky and i just love it i have it on my eyes right now and it gives my eyes really like volume and fullness and the last thing for my eyes this month, I've been loving the Milani Eye Tech Bold Liquid Eyeliner. And I had this in a past favorites video like a couple months back and I stopped using it and now I'm really into liquid liner a lot. So I've been like to do like a winged and I guess because fall's coming in I like dark lips and winged eyeliner and how funny because I don't have any of that on today but it's okay. So yeah, this is about 10 bucks in any drugstore and it's like a big marker. It literally looks like a marker but it's really not. And I like the felt tip ones because they're really easy to apply. They're good for beginners like me. And next for eyes, I've been loving the e.l.f. Blending Eye Brush. These are only a dollar. I'm sorry it's dirty because I just put on some blue eyeshadow. Um, and this is a really good brush because it blends out my crease color really well. It leaves it really, like, seamless. I love it. And the next brush that I've been loving is the Eco Tools large eye brush and I like to pat color I like this brush to pat on color I like to use this brush to pat on my lid color because it's really big so I just have to like do like three three um pats and it like leaves the color really awesome and the last brush that I've been loving is the elf kabuki face brush and this is so cute. I like this because I can just put this in my makeup bag and just apply my powder throughout the day. So I don't have to bring, like, bring the big bulky brushes. For this month, my fair lip color has been the MAC Russian Red. And this is in the matte formula. So it's really giant, but it's a beautiful red. Everybody talks about this. And how funny because I don't have it on today. Because it's still during daytime. I only wear it at night. But when I do go out, I love to wear this. And since it's matte, I do apply a lip gloss on top and it stays on all day. As for MAC formulation, I love it. It's worth the $15. Next, I've been loving the Milani Lipstick in Naturally Chic. And this is a perfect nude color. I have it on right now since I do have a bright eye. And let me show you guys a swatch of it. It is a perfect nude color. It doesn't wash me out at all. And I love to wear this when I have like a dark smoky eye. And then the red lipstick I'll wear when I have like a, like a neutral eye so I can like have a pop of color on my face. And these range for about $8 to $9 I believe and I got mine at CVS. My favorite thing this month, holy grail, has been the Instant Age Run Eraser Dark Circles. Mine is in the color Neutralizer and this is an amazing concealer. Like I don't know if you guys can tell a difference in my face but it leaves my face flawless. And I've already used up this much 
and this was in my previous haul I, I got this like about a month ago three to four weeks ago and I really love it this is better than my fake up concealer by benefit and this is only eight bucks it's supposedly only for under your eyes but I use it all over my face and it leaves my face seamless throughout the day and the last makeup item that I have is the elf shimmering facial whip And this is just a highlighter and I have it on my face right now. It gives a very dewy effect and I love that for the fall. And this was only a bulk. You guys really can't beat it. It's just an extra beauty step just to make you feel, you know, luxurious. And I hardly do it, but when I do do it, it's like nights that I love to go all out with my makeup, which is today. Which I took like an hour to do my makeup, but it's fun. You know what I mean? It's fun. Just a primer, concealer, foundation, bronzer. Primer, concealer, foundation, powder bronzer, blush, highlighter. Damn, seven things for my face alone. I love makeup. The next category that we're going to talk about is perfumes and this is the Juicy Couture Peace and Love perfume. It looks like this. It has beautiful packaging and as for the scent, it smells like musky but super girly. Like it's a it's a very mature scent as well as the Coco Chanel one. That's my is really what I'm into like the musky girly scents you know what I mean and for the packaging it's beautiful I love the scent and stays all day so yeah I've been loving this baby this month for body splash I've been loving the Twilight Woods from Bath and Body Works and this is just a really nice like refresher I like to use this after I get out of the shower and in the mornings I like to just spray this on or if I'm in a rush I'll just spray this on really quickly and it works really well as for the packaging this is super cute and I just got this so not got this, I, I got it last fall, but I had it under my sink because I had a, like different perfumes. So now I'm using this one. I just got this basically. I just started using it and this is how much I've used and I love it. And this was seven bucks. And the last like scent -y thing, scent, -y, scent thing, whatever, <laughs> is the Twilight Woods Body Lotion. And this is with vitamin E, jojoba, and shea butter. And this is just a lotion to the matching fragrance mist and I like to apply this all over my body after I get out of the shower. It's super moisturizing. Even though I do prefer the body creams, this is a body lotion so it kind of takes a little longer to dry. But I love the scent of this and I gotta use it up because I'm not gonna like look get it old or whatever. My favorite candle of the month has been the Mahogany Teakwood Candle. And this is just a miniature size because I just prefer getting the miniature size because I don't really use candles that long. I only use it when I'm getting ready or when I'm doing homework. And I'll just apply it like I'll apply it. I'll light it up um, on my nightstand and I've used quite a bit and it still lasted a long time. I've literally used this for like a month but I only use it for like 20 to 30 minutes. It says it's supposed to be for 3 to 4 hours. Oh no, it doesn't say any time. But I heard that it's only last, supposed to be last for 3 to 4 hours. But it's bullshit. And for the scent, it just smells like my boyfriend's cologne. That's literally what it smells like. It's amazing. For random favorites, I've been loving the Febreze Air Effects in Linen and Sky, and I love to spray this. Like, I would literally spray it in the morning before I leave to school, and when I get home from school, my room smells so fresh, like fresh laundry. I love it. And you can buy this at any local drugstore. I just love the scent Linen and Sky, and I love Febreze products out of all, like, mm -hmm. products that they have in the store for scents and stuff. And then the next thing that I've been loving is this Febreze little, like, it's, it stands up, it's not plug in, it just stands up, you can apply it, you can apply it. You can put it in your bath. Next, I've been loving this Febreze little like standing scent holder and basically it just kind of looks, it doesn't, it doesn't look that ugly. You can put it in your nightstand, in your bathroom and this is in the scent um, lavender and it just smells so good and this lasts so long. The actual holder itself costs $5 and the scents look like this. And you would think that they only last like a week or two. No, they last over a month. I've had this over a month. And literally, it smells so good. Sometimes, like, I have to move it away from my nightstand because it, like, clogs up my nose before I'm trying to go to sleep. And it just smells too strong. But for three bucks, and it lasts really long, it's like a candle that doesn't turn off. I really love this. And next, I've been loving the Lens Cleaning Wipes. They're pre moisture moistened of course the ultimate convenience in cleaning for your eyeglasses and high quality optics and electronics basically I've been loving to use these for my iPad my phone and my glasses when I do wear them and they just leave everything like really clean and basically they come in packages like this and I just love to take them 
I'll put them in my makeup bag so when my phone gets like 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 all nasty from my foundation and stuff when I'm talking on the phone, I can just wipe down my phone. And also, some people say that you get acne because you talk on the phone and your phone's all dirty. So I like to keep it clean. And this was only like three or four bucks, and I got it at Walmart. And my last favorite of the month has been my all-time favorite. It has been Prison Break. I've been watching it on Netflix. I literally just started watching it like three days ago. And I'm like already on episode 10 or 11. Something ridiculous like that. And I love it. It's so... It's such an intriguing show. Like, it's so intriguing. And it's sad. It's crazy. It's happy. Like, it's just... I mean, I want to go in there and like rescue some... Blah, blah, blah. Like, sometimes I just feel like I'm so into the show that I like zone out and I'm like whoa this is reality I'm not in prison <laughs> it's a really good show I definitely recommend it for you guys as well as my second favorite show has been Skins and that is just basically a bunch of teenagers that live in the UK and they're just crazy they all have problems in, in each in each of their lives they just have their own specific problems but they're really crazy and it's fun it's a fun show So that wraps up today's favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave some favorites of yours down below in the comments so I can see and you can recommend me any products that you guys would want. Leave me any requests you guys have down below. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Anything else that I want to tell you? Yeah, I love you guys. Bye. See you next time.